Hello and welcome back to Club Free, part four of our FM22 Journeyman. We're here with Barnsley FC again and we're going to have two more games for you against Swansea and Forest Green, who are obviously in a lower league than us. It is an FA Cup third round match. So since you were last with me, we have obviously played quite a few more games and we've been on a bizarre run of form really. So the last two we saw on the channel were the Stoke and Brentford matches. We then lost to Bristol City. We beat Coventry, lost 3-0 to Sheffield United which is not fantastic because they are rivals. We didn't actually lose a game in December. The problem is we only won one of them, and there's quite a lot of games in December. Lots and lots of draws there. I mean, we went on a, what's that, five-game drawing streak, which is just weird. And then we beat Nottingham Forest and lost to Hull. In terms of the league, it leaves us down in 16th at the moment, which is, as it stands, 10 points away from the relegation zone. So we're doing what we need to do in avoiding relegation. We're obviously back in January as well, so the transfer window is open. With that, that's going to probably bring some transfers with it. At the moment, we have made one. I don't think we've had any out yet. We haven't had any out yet. We have had one come in, though, uh, which is this guy, Yudoka Godwin Malif. Oh, you're going to be an absolute nightmare to say your name, aren't you, mate? Never mind. He's come over for £1 million from QPR. That £1 million is not all up front. But the reason we've brought him in as well is he can play at wing-back or at centre-back. We're probably going to be playing him at wing-back because at centre-back he wants to play as a wide centre-back. And I don't think yet I'm ready to go to five at the back. I've still not played with it. I really should try and play with some wide centre-backs at some point. Maybe it's like the best formation ever. But the reason we've brought him in more than anything is he could progress i mean he was showing up up until a week ago as a potential premiership player so he was brought in basically because he's got some decent potential and i think long term he could end up being the player that stays over here on the right as you can see as well we have dropped to a 4-3-3 now that is what's yielded a lot of those draws is the fact that we're a little bit more solid at the back we have also got an injury crisis with goalkeepers so i'm really really glad that we did actually bring in those three goalkeepers because both brandon austin and zingel are both out injured and nang is the guy in goal at the moment obviously now we've got to get over for that match against swansea and here's the lineup for that match against swansea and oh dear the team is broken We've got a Nang in goal, back four of Pierce, Edmondson, Warrell and Williams. We've then got Kohasi, Offerboro and Oakley Booth in midfield. Saramento and Bakuna on the wings with Brown up front. The problem as you can see down here is we can only just field a subs bench before we run out of players because all these guys are injured. And the players we have got are all very, very tired. Izzy Brown not really fit enough to start. Sarmiento out on the left has got fitness issues, as does Oakley Booth. But this is the best team we can actually put together today. So we're just going to have to run with it and hope for the best. Both of our strikers are out as well. So Bosniak just picked up an injury and uh, Woodrow is also out for another two to five weeks. So we have a bit of an injury con. Uh, crisis going on and we don't have any money or wage budget to bring anyone in so we are just gonna have to deal with it it might mean potentially i need to for the forest green match especially given they're in the lower league have a look at maybe using some of our youngsters that said if you do enjoy today's episode and you haven't already please subscribe to the channel hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell all that lovely stuff you know how it all works it's always very very much appreciated and we'd love to hit 50 subscribers by the end of this weekend obviously you guys seeing this on sunday can we continue our i say good run of form we did just lose to hull but also we haven't been dropping too many points it would be nice here to pick up at least a point if not three points against swansea whether that's going to happen or not, very, very different story. Again, the most inconsistent team I think I've ever managed on Football Manager. And we've been less carved apart there. We've got really, really lucky. He's hit the crossbar. We've been saved by the post. And there's really, really not a huge amount going on in this match so far, which is a little bit annoying. I mean, it's good in the sense of uh, we're not getting overrun kind of thing. Swansea have only had the one shot at the moment. But yeah, just not a lot going on. That's probably partly down to our players being absolutely shattered. We have got a corner here though. Bakuna to take. It's to the far post. It's gone back to Oakley Booth. What a goal. I don't know who nodded that one down. It's the first ever goal for Oakley Booth playing as the ball winning midfielder today. He's there at the right place. Bakuna to the far post. 
for Brown to nod down and Oakley Booth just canning that one home. And it is 1-0 to Barnsley with, I think, our second. It was our third shot. Our third shot on goal is 1-0 at half time. That could be game changing now now the problem is whilst we are one nil up it's whether we can actually retain that lead with all of our players slowly but surely falling apart on the pitch Swansea have just had to make two substitutions themselves so maybe they have the same sort of fitness issues I mean looking down at their players down here it is very possible they also have those sort of issues which does work in our favour slightly, but we are now on the 66th minute already. And we probably do need to think about maybe if we can making those changes. So we could bring a striker on, but there isn't really anyone to put there. There's no one really who can play that. I mean, we're going to put Just Fan there. And that is literally just to get Brown off the pitch. So we don't injure him as well, because we are running out of players. Pierce needs to probably come off as well. And I guess for him, we bring on... Clark O'Dor and we make those two substitutions now with one remaining to go as well we are still one nil up but it's been a very very cagey affair between us and Swansea not a lot going on really in the match I mean it's not great for YouTube it's very very good for points on the board if we manage to keep this but we have been conceding a lot of late goals so it's not even certain even at this point that we will go on and win it but at the moment it's dragging us right up well is it dragging us up the table I don't think it's actually moved us on the table but it has added points to us and that's gone over the line somehow i'm not entirely sure what happened there it's a free kick from bakuna it looked like it'd been saved but i'm guessing it bobbled over the line that's not any better of an angle to see this really i think it kind of hit the goalkeeper bobbled over the line yeah just about over the line there thank you var that's absolutely not helpful at all but it's 2-0 for us. We're actually going to get a win for once in one of these videos, which is very, very nice to see. We can't take Saramento off either because uh, you're tired, but we don't have anyone to bring on for you. We could bring on Palmer as well. Let's bring on Palmer as the box-to-box -box midfielder and keep off a Boru just a little bit fitter. This match against Forest Green is going to be interesting as well because despite the fact that they are in a lower league than us i'm not sure exactly what league they're in we don't have any players left we have officially run out of players oakley booth now though bearing down on goal trying to add his second to his tally for today sarimiento brought down in the box there but apparently nothing coming of it that was absolutely fine a good tackle by Mendes there no problems we'll live with it it's going to be a 2-0 win for us by the looks of things it is a 2-0 win for us we've actually got three points on the board well done team we like these points that's what we want we would like some points on the board this season if anything just because it keeps pulling us further and further away from the relegation zone so we've now got 32 points birmingham the first team there in the relegation zone with 20 so we're pretty much the more we can get obviously the more like we are to secure our survival i think at this point we can stop worrying about relegation but you never know so the more points we can get and the better form we can get the better it is oh look bakuna's got a fitness concern that's um that's always nice let's get over to the forest green match it's in seven days maybe some of our players will be less tired and not quite as injured for that match okay so we've got our lineup for the match against forest green hopefully we can go get a win there we've got austin in goal back four of kitching edmondson warrell and godwin Ma oh, i can't say your name Godwin Malif, we've got Palmer Kahasi and Offaboro in midfield, and Bakuna and Oda out on the wings behind Kemp. Kemp is in our under-23s, I think he is in under-23s. He's got a huge amount of potential, so we're playing him today. He is only currently National League standard, so probably not quite ready for this match, but with the luck of strikers we've currently got due to injuries, it kind of makes sense today if we're going to have the rest of the team quite strong. I mean, it's maybe not the complete first choice side but it's very very close to it to have that one position that maybe we're a bit weaker and i think that our both of our wings can come in and score some goals anyway and it shouldn't be too much of an issue having him up there that's the plan anyway we'll see if it actually works out like that It'd be really nice today if kemp could come up and score a goal for barnsley on his debut not sure how likely that is to happen especially at a moment where neither of us are actually making any sort of attacking threat we're going to demand more from the team and switch over to positive so we have been playing with a cautious mentality just purely because that's made us a bit more defensive in the league and allowed us to at least pick up points if not pick up wins 
Although right now that hasn't worked out going positive because Forest Green have had the first shot on target. Absolutely zip zero highlights for us in this match. I was hoping at least showing Forest Green because they're a lower league team we might have been able to have a nice episode where we get lots and lots of goals but apparently not. Maybe we used up all of our goals in the last match instead. And now we have no goals left in us. It's entirely possible. Corner here for us though. Odor into Edmondson agonizingly close they say in the commentary booth but it's not in the back of the net which is what obviously we want off of these set pieces if we could become like something we're good at something set piece specialists or very good defensively or or something along those lines that would be great at the moment we're very much a run-of-the-mill team that doesn't always show up for big games or little games i mean this game you would hope realistically we'd be going out and absolutely battering forest green instead of that we don't look that good in all honesty kemp up front's having an absolute trash game and he's also now tired so we'll bring on izzy brown for him izzy brown actually fully fit so that could help out hopefully he'll come on now and make a difference against forest green it would be really nice if we just had a goal guys encourage the entire team we're, we're fully ahead in this match just nothing to show for it at the moment and i really don't want to be going and having a replay against forest green or crashing out of the fa cup at the third round that's not an ideal situation either and at this point given what we're looking like let's go attacking anyway uh godwin Malif once again is getting a really good rating but also he has got a yellow card this is only his second game for the club but that's exactly what he did on his debut was really good rating get a yellow card be pretty tired by the end of it 83 minutes gone we can make our last two changes i think we make them now really uh just fan to come on for kohasi i think just because he can help out a little bit there he's a pretty decent player the other one will bring on uh oakley booth i think and we put him in the ball winning midfielder role not where he tends to play he normally has been playing as that box to box midfielder but i'd like to at least get him on the pitch because when he has been playing recently he came and had a word with us and went i'd like to be in the side a little bit more and we've put him back in the side and he's been pretty good that is a nil nil draw against forest green with one highlight this is a stressful team to manage this is a proper stressful team to manage that was an absolute snooze fest nil nil draw you can write it we win in the league and then we go and draw against forest green now we're going to have a replay with our already packed schedule what we have got though at the moment i said we had no finances and we probably wouldn't be getting any transfers in we have found this guy who i've not fully scouted but i've made a bid for i've offered a contract anyway i've no idea how we say your name vladimir Klimenchuk. um yeah something like that if we're having a look at him we can see he's ukrainian we uh, are scouting over there at the moment and he looks like he'd be quite decent he looks like he's got bags of potential and 13 to 18 finishing i mean 13 would be fine uh 18 would be fantastic as would first touch and he's got bags and bags of pace so i'd really like to get him in because we have to pay some compensation but very very little wage so hopefully we can offload a load uh, a load of players maybe not but a couple of players out of our squad to free up some money to be signing those sort of players throughout the rest of the transfer window and as i say that middlesbrough have come in with an offer for jord edmondson i don't know i want to make that transfer but it is one i'll take under advisement and have a think about if you have enjoyed today's episode and you are excited for the rest of the series and want to see how we do eventually rebuild Barnes and the FC, then hit the subscribe button and notification bell. YouTube will let you know every time we upload and you can follow along with the rest of the series and it would be very, very much appreciated. Until next time though guys, thank you very much for watching and if you want to watch some more content before Tuesday, have a look at this video next.